Hey, I just wanted to bring you a quick LinkedIn ads report and update. Uh, so I want to go over the overall numbers and then also um, kind of the more recent optimizations we're making and the ongoing recommendations. So first, I'm just going to change it to the last seven days. Uh, we did get two more leads in uh, in the last week. Um, but one thing I'm noticing that we are looking to optimize right now is this open um, open to submission rate is uh, not the greatest. So one of the things we look at when we're running lead gen forms is how many of them opened compared to how many submitted them. So it's about a one to seven ratio. And ideally, we'd want it to be um, one to four is uh, decent. One to uh, One to three is really good. So if one out of every three opens is a submission, that would be amazing. So right now we're sitting at a one to seven, which is um, on the side that needs improvement. So one of the first things we do is we look at the actual form because if people are opening it, uh, that means we're targeting the right people, they're, the ad is doing well, but then there's something that happens from when they open it, there's hesitation to them actually submitting it. So one of the things we actually just did is went through, um, so under here, under assets, under lead gen forms, we went through each of these um, and actually tweaked the title a little bit. Some of them some of them could have been a little more descriptive of what the person uh, should be expecting to get, you know, what what's the, it's transactional. What do they get in exchange for their email? Um, so right now we're not using this space, which uh, oftentimes we don't want to uh, because kind of the psychology around it is, you know, they saw the ad, they saw the call to action, they clicked it, they opened it. You kind of don't want to do, you don't have to continue to sell them too much because they, sh you, they should try to make it as seamless as possible. And really you just want to avoid like any red flags that make them hesitate to not um, finish submitting their information. So we, we adjusted these. We tried to make it uh, just a little more descriptive of what's going to be on the other side. So once they submit the information, what they're going to land on. Um, the next thing, if that doesn't improve it, which I do think um, with some of the titles we have um, or had, I do think this should show improvement. The next thing we could do is try to use some language in here that also softens it some more. Um, you know, we might need some feedback of, you know, what do you do with their email? Is it an endless strip or is it, you know, a set series of emails that they get around something? Um, or is it the sales team reaching out? If that's the, if that's, the case, then we probably wouldn't want to mention that. Um, we could just talk more about the benefits, like maybe list out some more things that are in there. So um, just updating the titles, I think that should have an improvement on the open to submission rate. Uh, so I do think we should uh, see some improvements there. So um, yeah, we had two leads in the last uh, seven days. If we flip back to the last 30 days, uh, we have uh, eight leads. Uh, and if we break this down, the other thing, um, it is showing more and more conversions. Um, and it's a variety of things we're getting, uh, the click intents, um, which is them going to the free trial page. Uh, some of the final submissions, uh, or conversions still, you know, we're kind of iffy whether or not LinkedIn is tracking those properly. So that's why I think the lead gen forms would be good. I do think people are making it that far. Uh, let's look at the last seven days with conversions. Uh, so in addition, yeah, in addition to the um, to the actual lead gen forms, we are still getting people, 14 people in the last seven days from the retargeting image ad um, actually then went to the demo trial page. Um, and I don't think it's accurate how many of those actually then completed it from there because i do think we are getting uh those as well um let's see and looks like most of those are are going to be view conversions uh so we're retargeting them uh with the audience network enabled and most of those are coming from that so i do think like in hubspot it's going to be hard for those to get proper attribution if they're not even clicking on our ad they're getting exposed to them and then they um come back to the to the site and actually inquire more uh, so those are the the main things we're working on right now is um, optimizing those lead gen forms. We'd like to go from, um, let's see if we can get a baseline here of just overall leads. So two, 
we'd like to get a more steady uh, flow. So if we had two, two leads in the last uh, seven days, let's look at 30. Um, so it looks like two leads a week uh, has been kind of the, the flow. So we want to get that. We want to double that into four or five um, leads. So I do think with the adjustment we just made on the titles that open to submission rate should improve. And we should be looking at um, the next time we do a report should be looking at four to five leads. And then I think we can improve that from there from the budget. Um, Cause one of the things that we're starting to accumulate now is a cost per lead, um, the lead gen open, and we start seeing exactly where they're coming from. So most of them are coming from um, inside of here and we'll be able to see ideally which lead gen forms um, are most effective at getting the cost per lead. And we'll start being able to shift the budget here soon as well. So I do think in the next week, we should be able to double and get four to five leads per week. And then once we have a little bit more data, we should be able to funnel the, the spend into those lead gen forms and make another jump as well. I'd love to be seeing um, eight to 10 leads a week. And I think we can get there um, this month.